everyone, thanks for joining us to check out day two of the Otago Classic Rally. Seven stages to deal with today and for the internationals like Frank Kelly, who is running in a Classic Escort, but in the main game, seven stages is probably not enough for his flamboyant driving style that's turned him into quite the star. We actually asked him what it is about the Otago Classic. Every rally man in the world knows the best gravel roads are in New Zealand. So I never thought I would get, get here. I thought maybe if I was lucky I would get here to watch somebody else doing it. Uh, the opportunity came up last year. Um, we had Rally Sport Australia did a, uh, an article on us. Uh, we sent them all the information they wanted and they mentioned that the Otago might be interested in having us. I sort of thought it wasn't that serious, but by Christmas time we were getting a car ready to go in a container. It's, uh, it's been worth it to be fair. The first three stages this morning are just uh, highways that I've never seen before. I don't think we even have tarmac roads as wide as that uh, in Ireland. It's the, it's the sheer width of them and, and the surface. Um, fair enough, even though they're so wide, there's only one line. Uh, I couldn't pick a line to save my life, but there's a, a clear line you can see there. Noel's been shouting at me all morning to stay on the line. But it's the speed you can carry in, in, on gravel, uh, on, on fairly sharp corners. It was a bit of a culture shock, I'll be honest with you. I was halfway through the first stage before I thought, this maybe is normal. Maybe we were supposed to do this. Um, but it just seems ludicrous. Seems ludicrous. <laughs> Can't stop smiling. I said to Noel, my co-driver, when we come out of stage three, I, th I says, my jaw is quite sore. And he says, what's wrong? And I says, I can't stop smiling. It was the World Wide Web that first introduced us all to the crazy Irishman. It took 25 years for me to become a, an overnight sensation. It's all down to my daughter, Lauren. Uh, she studied media at, at college, and uh, anytime she had to do a project and get a, a subject, I was the subject. There was plenty of in-car, and she was out videoing the stages. So she put stuff together. I just can't believe the way it took off. And his advice to other internationals wanting to compete in the Otago Rally? Oh, you just need to get out here and do this, lads. This is a once-in-a-lifetime. Uh, bring loads of tyres, bring loads of paddle and loads of money. <laughs>